Wouldn't it be awesome to build your own cost-effective Android tablet using a Raspberry Pi alternative? Today in this video, we are going to use 10.1 inch display with a capacitive touch feature and Orange Pi 5 Pro Raspberry Pi 5 alternative to run Android operation system by burning the Android image to the Orange Pi eMMC memory. And of course, we are going to test its performance by watching a YouTube video and run some video game. We will be dealing with a large display and a powerful microprocessor today, so without any further ado, let's jump on in. Alright, so here's the setup that we are going to use in this tutorial. So here uh, you can see that I have a very large screen, uh, it's 10.1 inch with a resolution of uh, 1024 uh, by 600 pixels and here of course I have uh, Orange Pi 5 Pro uh, connected to the uh, LCD I have so it's connected over HDMI over here and it's connected to its uh, touch sensor so the screen has a capacitive touch uh, feature and it's connected over USB to the uh, touch sensor over here and of course the audio data uh, is transferred over HDMI so here I have two speakers so this display is provided to me by a view uh, display company uh, they are specialized in uh, manufacturing high quality displays the display also has uh, a joystick over here you can see it can be used to uh, control the uh, audio level and also it can control the display brightness we'll see that when we turn this uh, setup on. So in this tutorial, I have burned Android 12 image uh, to the board eMMC. It has 256 gigabytes uh, of memory. So when I power this board up, it will load the Android image from the eMMC and will run uh, our operation system from there. Of course, our setup will be connected uh, over Wi-Fi, so here, there is Bluetooth Low Energy and Wi-Fi module. So to summarize the whole setup, we have actually an Android tablet uh, over here with a very large screen. The display also supports a five-point uh, touching uh, controller, which is quite good. Uh, the nicest thing about it is that uh, it does not require programming. It's actually plug and play. You only need to plug it to uh, HDMI, so it can also be used with a uh, uh, personal computer. Uh, and that's all. So I'm going to power it up. Yeah, so you can see now the uh, Orange Pi logo, it's loading the Android image. And now in a few seconds, we have the Android image uh, has been loaded. It's actually quite fast uh, compared to any tablet. So let me show you the settings. So if I go here and if I scroll down, there are no information about the battery because uh, I don't have battery. Actually, I can add uh, a power bank so I can uh, move this around currently it's connected to my power supply that's supplying 5 volt over uh, USB-C so you can see here the storage is recognized by the Android operation system and of course using this joystick I can control the volume level and if I press on it I can control the brightness of the display so let's put it to maximum Okay, so anyways, actually uh, with such uh, setup, we can do anything we want, uh, just as it is uh, an Android tablet. So I can go to YouTube and watch some video. So you can see how fast the uh, keyboard response is. Let's run any video. With such round display using a rotary encoder, Today in this video, we are going to program this 2.1 round display which has ESP32-S3 microcontroller to publish MQTT packets. Okay, so now let's test this setup with some game. So here I'm running Subway Runner. Of course, the microprocessor has a 3D accelerator which makes it possible to run uh, Android without any problem. You can see how fast the response is okay so now it's time to uh, see how i have managed to load the uh, android image to the emc uh, of the orange pie 
Uh, it's actually quite easy. So we are going to do that in a few minutes. So let's carry on. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. If you are looking for producing or having your own engineering prototype, then GLC PCB is your correct destination. For low price and high quality, you can get your PCB manufactured and assembled. All you need to do is to upload your design on their website to make your order and they will make it real for you within days. With such service, ordering PCBs has become as easy as online shopping. Don't miss out GLC PCB 6 layer PCB special where you can not only get high quality 6 layer PCB for just $5, you can also have many coupons for your PCB ordering. Check the link in the description. Alright, so now it's time to have a look at the details of the hardware that we have used in this tutorial. So this is the 10.1 uh, inch display that we have used. Uh, and here we can have a look at its uh, features. So the display is also compatible with uh, Raspberry Pi, any desktop computer and its connection is quite easy. And then let's have a look at the Orange Pi board that I have used. So here it is. Uh, Orange Pi 5 Pro. It has a very powerful microprocessor. So here are uh, its features. So it has uh, the 8 core 64 uh, bit processor from Rockchip RK3588S. It has two HDMI ports, and as we have seen, we have loaded the Android image uh, to its eMMC. Also, it has Gigabyte Ethernet support. So this powerful microcontroller allowed us to run Android 12 uh, quite uh, fast. So now let's have a look at the way of loading Android image uh, to this processor. Alright, so in order to load the uh, Android image to the uh, Orange by uh, eMMC, we are going to need uh, these two files. So first we will need the driver assistant. So this is necessary uh, for a Windows operation system to identify the uh, mask ROM mode which runs uh, ROC USB driver on the uh, Orange Pi, of course. Uh, so all we need to do is to run this driver and install it. So after that, I'm going to run the ROC DevTool uh, software, which is going to allow me uh, to burn the Android image to the Orange Pi eMMC which has 256 gigabyte of memory so i'm going to run this software and now i need to let my uh, orange pie enter mask row mode uh, mask row mode is actually an internal firmware uh, in the uh, rock chip that we have on the orange pie 5 pro so it runs the uh, rock usb driver which going to let us uh, burn the android image through usb to the mmc memory so let's do that Yes, so uh, as you have seen now, uh, the software has detected a uh, mask row mode. So after that, I need to select the Android image and I have already installed it. Of course, I'm going to share a link to the Android uh, image in the related uh, project repository on GitHub. So we're going to select that. And after that, in order to start burning the image, we are going to click on this button and wait for the whole process to be done. So I've already done that part. All you need to do is click on this option. After the loading process gets completed, uh, the Orange Pi will boot from Android image every time it's turned on. Alright, so this brings me to the end of this tutorial. Everything related to this video is going to be shared on my GitHub repository, so you can repeat what I've done today. So share this video among your friends and tell them about Use Electronics. See you in the upcoming tutorials and bye bye.